<laughs> it's like legit raining right now. <laughs> like, well, we're testing out the jacket. Hi folks, it's Switchback. First of all, sorry about the audio. I'm not going to ruin my microphone. Today is when I get to film, so here we are. But it's a great opportunity to try out the iHood heated jacket and check out the waterproofness. I'm gonna turn it on since I literally like just put it on. Press and hold each of those. There we go. And we can also turn that off so we don't have the light. I have been super curious about heated clothing and I got the opportunity to try out the iHood soft shell heated jacket. Well, really I got to choose anything I wanted, but this is what I chose and what I felt like might be right for the broader audience. They let me choose whatever I wanted and after measuring, I went with a men's jacket. I really liked the heated zones on the jacket, especially in the lower back down here because of my lower back injury. And I went with the men's partly for the fit and partly because I liked the colors better, quite frankly. The women's come in black, purple, and pink. Men's are available in black. This is the olive drab green. There's a navy blue, a dark gray, and a camo. I was worried that the sleeves would be too long, but really, they're really not and I'm obviously able to adjust them with Velcro. So you can see here how long they are without the Velcro adjusted. To be fair now, I do have rather large wrists and I'm kind of at the end of the Velcro. So keep that in mind. I felt like the measurements on the website were accurate. So it didn't feel like I had to size up, but I'm still deciding how I feel about the recommendation to size up if you think you're fat. The best selection and the best prices on these are on Amazon. Links to both their website and Amazon are going to be down in the description and in the pinned comment once I get that up. So those heating zones, there are three and they are controlled right here. There's one on the front, one on the back, and one in the collar. And within that, it has three separate panels on the back where most only have one or two. Two on the front and then one in the collar which I must say is delightful. It reports to heat from 122 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 to 70 degrees centigrade. It is machine washable, but for the best results, I would hand wash it. This is also not something that should go in the dryer. It should be hung to dry, which is what I will be doing when I'm done filming today. comes with a 14,400 milliamp hour power bank and it connects to the heated jacket with a USB-A cord. So really you could use any power bank with this. The buttons to control this are again on the chest here and they do obviously light up but you can turn that off very easily for whatever reason you want. And it has 12, yes 12 pockets. Pickpocket hell but Hashtag worn weight. I particularly dig the chest pockets up here, especially if I have on a waist belt because then I can just pop my hands in there like this. Not a big deal. So there are pockets, two on each of the arms. There are the two on the front here. And then at the risk of getting wet here, there are chest pockets. And then these down here, that's our 12. Their jackets and vests are available from small up to 3XL, and I've again found that they're pretty true to size. I am wearing a men's extra large, which is what I wear for like t-shirts and stuff like that. 
and it totally fits me well. And again, I found that the measurements on the recommendations on the website were accurate. It comes with a patch spot right here and it comes with an American flag patch if you want to put it on there. You can obviously put whatever patch makes your heart happy. For the battery, there's an 18 month warranty. For the heating elements, it's a two year warranty. I threw this on my scale before I came out here today and I got it at 1.42 kilos or three pounds, two ounces, including the power bank. And again, this is the men's extra large and this is before it was wet. <laughs> We just got back today actually from a camping trip where I got to test this out in some cold temps and it got down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative cells, negative seven degrees Celsius. I cannot talk, sorry. I tried this jacket when I was hanging out by the fire while I was making dinner and doing like not super crazy active stuff around camp. And I found it was comfortable on the high setting down to about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. And it was dark out, no sun on me, no wind, anything like that. I wore it for about an hour and 40 minutes on high and the battery went from 100% down to 11%. I was wearing just one uh, mid-weight wool base layer underneath this. And I, you know, if you are wearing multiple layers, you're really not going to feel the heating elements. And I mean, it kind of has to be up against you for you to really feel the heating elements themselves. But like right now I can feel the heat that it's warmer inside. Again, you can really use any power bank you want. And if you're gonna be somewhere for more than about two hours, I would probably pack an extra one. I tried wearing the jacket. I gotta just look this up. <laughs> I tried wearing the jacket in the morning after um, it had been down to in the 20s without the heating elements on just to see what was comfortable. And again, now the sun was up, so that makes a difference. But I was able to wear it comfortably at about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if it was dark, I don't know that I would be able to wear it in temps that are that low. It really doesn't feel like there's a lot of insulation in this, including in the sleeves. And it is fairly stiff, but that may partly be just that it's new and I know soft shells kind of are that way. Also kind of heavy and bulky, but I think that to some point that's just inevitable with a heated jacket. Now, to be fair, this is my first experience with heated clothing, so I could be way off base. I also tried this on a short hike where I first went down and then up. And so I had the heating elements on when I was going down and then turned them off for the hike back up and I was wearing a t-shirt and a flannel. Just like right now where I only have a t-shirt underneath, I could feel the heat a bit as I was moving and I found that it wasn't super breathable, but again, it's also waterproof. So we all know how impossible it is to find something that is genuinely breathable and waterproof. So speaking of waterproof, I did not anticipate it was going to rain like this today. It was like a 3% chance when I looked at it this morning. However, here we are. So we got a lovely chance to try it out in the rain and so far we're doing great. But before I came out here, I actually had Mountain Goat hose me down to see how it would go. This your jacket? This is my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. I'm scared. It's okay. <laughs> More juice. Yes. <laughs> Forgot your head. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and your head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a little bit of absorption, it looks like. Inside's dry. Absorption in the same way that my rain pants have it. Overall, pretty darn happy with how it's performing in that regard. And did I mention it has 12 iHood also offers a heated vest that has a bunch of heaters in the hood, which sounds really cool to me. One thing I didn't think about when I was choosing what I wanted to try out is that theoretically at least you could wear a vest under another jacket and have the heating element that way, but I haven't tried said vest, so maybe it, it wouldn't work that way. But did I mention this one has 12 pockets? Like right here. Big old pocket, big in the pocket, the girl. There is of course the limitation that again, this is my first experience with heated clothing. So take from it what you will. Additionally, I've had it for a couple of weeks and really only just got to try it out in some 
more extreme conditions this week. So I really cannot speak to the longevity of this and how the waterproofing holds up, how the seams, the heat, all of that, how any of that holds up yet. But I will say if I find that I really don't think that this is something that holds up well, this video will no longer be posted. So if you're watching this, it's still holding up. A couple of very minor criticisms. One, the display on the power bank is pretty dim to the point where I didn't think it was charging. I had it in the car and to be fair, it was bright in the car and I legit could not see the display was coming on and I was trying to troubleshoot and all of this. Turns out it was doing just fine. The location of the battery, which is down here, I've seen some people have a hard time with that in some jackets. I've had no issue with that in this. And I had it um, again on that hike where my waist belt was going around here and it's below that. And I can feel it when I have my hands in the pockets, of course, but it doesn't interfere with being able to use this pocket. Another possible minor criticism is this logo up here, which may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is reflective. So there's that. Again, not super breathable for hiking and active stuff and so but again waterproof so there's always a trade-off and you can always do what i did and try using it on a gentle hike not a gnarly hike but a gentle hike where you can turn it on anytime that you're stopped or that you're going downhill and then turn it off when you're going back uphill i would do that in fairly cool conditions my number one concern with this would be if someone is in really cold conditions and relying on the heating elements and then the battery dies on you. So if you are going to be in cold conditions, definitely take an extra backup battery of some kind, whether it's the one from iHood or it's another one that you have. Ultimately, I'm not convinced that it would be a wise idea to rely solely on this for your warm. Sometimes what I would recommend using this would be, again, hanging around the campfire, going to a sporting event like your kid's soccer game or a rodeo or a baseball game, taking your dog for a walk, going fishing somewhere like this, taking your kid to the park, operating heavy machinery like if you work in a factory and you use a forklift or if you use a backhoe or something like that, this would be a great thing for that. I also wish I had this when I worked in a very cold office. <laughs> this would have been amazing or the vest would have been good too. It can also be a good way to keep the heater off in your home if you're trying to not jack up your electrical bill uh, in the winter and you wanna stay warm, particularly effective if you live alone or if you want to buy a jacket for all of your loved ones that you live with. But again, I would not really use this for some heavy duty hiking or backpacking or anything else where you're really active. But I would love to hear where you might think about using this down in the comments. Again, I'm gonna keep links for this down below in the description and in the comments, and you can use discount code IHOODOFF10 for 10% off of your order. Valid on Amazon and on the iHood website. If you got any value out of this, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a thing, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.